you should come to New England, where there's plenty of job opportunities and religious tolerance. Plus, we have self-government. Whoa, really? Yes. Let's one go. Fish, one fish, two fish, I fish, you fish in New England. It looks amazing here. It is. We should go over yonder to Massachusetts. Awesome. Fishing is a huge part of our daily lives here in Massachusetts. That's awesome! I never got the chance to fish when I was in England. Yeah, we fish a lot here because of our great coastlines, but if fishing isn't for you, there are a lot of other jobs here in New England. Like what? Come on, I'll show you. Timber and carpentry are also two very common industries. You also may want to check out our booming blacksmiths. Even though our so soil is a bit rocky, it's perfect for farming things like pumpkin, rye, and squash, making farming a flourishing industry inland. You can even be a horse breeder. The opportunities in Massachusetts are practically endless. That's so much better than what my life in England was like. I never got the freedom to actually choose what job I wanted, but here it seems I'll never have to worry about money. You're right. There's a job here for practically everybody, no matter where your specialty is why. And our economy is based on trading products that we make here, which has been very successful for money lately. Wow, I can't wait to move here! And don't even worry about having to decide what colony to live in yet. New England has so much more to offer. And look, Connecticut's just over there! So head on down to Connecticut to see what else we have. Great and all, but is the weather as terrible as it is in England? Most definitely not. The summers are mild. And while the, <laughs> the winter gets a little bit chilly, <laughs> diseases do not fester here, so you won't get sick like you would in England. Head on over there to Rhode Island. Hold up. Are you guys freely practicing religion without being persecuted? Of course we are! Around here we're practically famous for our religious tolerance. Really? Back in England, if I even so much as said a word wrong during a prayer, I was tormented beyond belief. You don't have to worry about anything like that happening here. We were founded by people who were escaping religious persecution, so they made sure to put religious tolerance at the top of their list. So are you saying I can practice any religion I want? That's exactly what we're saying! You can worship anything here, from Christianity to atheism to Judaism. And your religious freedom is guaranteed, and you're bound to find various groups of people, considering Rhode Island is the most diverse colony. Wow, I can't imagine a place could get much better than this. But I do have one question. See, I can't read the Bible since I was never taught to read back in England. Is that going to be a problem here? Of course not. A large portion of here can read. I'm more than happy to help you. Here! That's good to hear. I can't believe how kind people are here in New England. I don't know what I would have done if I had stayed in England much longer. But the real problem, though, is going to be deciding which of these colonies I want to stay in. Come, come live in Rhode, Rhode Island. Island! No, come live in Massachusetts. 
Massachusetts. Or Connecticut! Come to New Hampshire! One. Pilgrims came to Massachusetts for religious freedom. God through Salem with trials and now they're never leaving. If you want a hopeful vision, come to Connecticut. There you'll find less strict religion and self-government. Though started as a fishing trip, these men were quickly colonists. Offer dreams of more profit, New Hampshire, they're so modest. One more in diversity, Rhode Island's got it all. Join the tolerant colony to have religious freedom. We know you'll find prosperity with each new colony. Freedom, jobs, and liberty, now that's the New England promise.